Hello everybody, my name is Faethodas. Today I'm going to show you a farming route I have found or created, you can call it as you like, in Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. This route is made for farming some experience, pretty much gold coins, and uh, of course uh, farming for items and uh, this uh, specific route is a boss route which means this is a guide for farming uh, boss route uh, I call this route the route uh, B7 because this route uh, has uh, seven bosses to kill and to farm of course now, uh, let me give you a tip about farming uh, in this game. When we go to the options menu, in the general uh, menu, there is the game speed option. It is on, on default, this is on normal, but we can get it too fast or very fast. Now, this option makes the game faster than normal. Uh, which means we can run faster, we can attack uh, faster, we can deal, of course, more damage over time because it is faster. The, but uh, the same goes for the masters too. We, because uh, this option does not uh, increase only the speed of our hero, but increases the speed of the game overall. So the monsters deal faster and better damage too and everything in the game runs faster. Now, this option, game speed, is very good for farming purposes or if you want to speed run the game, for example. There are also a couple of achievements, if I remember correctly, which can be benefit very much from this option. Now, after we put uh, this uh, very fast in the game speed, of course, remember you have to have a good build, farming build, so you can uh, survive because the damage you receive is increased uh, with this uh, very fast option. After we put this option here, we select our character. This is my farming uh, build. It is a nice build. I will make a guide about this farming build in the future. But it is a class cannon, glass cannon, cannon build. It deals much damage, but it receives much damage too, and it is easy to die with his gu this guy. After this, we put legendary difficulty, single player, and start the game. <clears throat> now, the first boss uh, of this route is uh, the three Gorgons, which is inside here. So, uh, the first thing I needed to do was to come and uh, activate this Rebirth Fountain, which is a checkpoint, of course, because if I was to, to use uh, the waypoint, this is, uh, this is the waypoint, or the portal, I had to run every time when I wanted to make this farming route. I should have to run all of the here and come here and here. This is the last checkpoint before, uh, before this boss, so the, we start this farming route from this point. It is the upper war camp in the first uh, act of the game. Let me activate my stuff here, take this one and run to the boss. There is a chest. We pick up the gold really fast with the hotkey of the pickup items, golded uh, relics and potions. We are already in the cave. There are those three gorgons. First we kill this one because she heals the others. Wow! Nice pose. There are many chests in this boss. 
and we can find the legendary items also from these chests. There is this majestic chest. Nothing here, only golden potions and money. Well, that's it for the first boss. It goes in this area. The second boss is in the Helos, which is the first village of the game. It's the first uh, boss of the game. This uh, route, the B7 route, has... Uh, it doesn't have uh, the big bosses like Typhoon or Telkins and stuff like that. But it doesn't matter. Because in this game, uh, the best items can be found even from uh, the lowest quality bone pile lootable object also from bosses like this one nothing here a green item stuff but I don't need such a thing now then we go to Sparta In the Sparta, we are going to kill the Sedar uh, Nisus. His name uh, in Greek is pronounced Nisos, but in English they call it Nisus or something like that. Here is the Sedar. We kill this guy fast and easy. Nothing from these guys. Give me that. Now, this route is very good if you want to... If you need uh, much gold and you need to pick uh, many gold pieces very fast. This route is very good because there are many chests in the way. We didn't find anything here. Our next stop is in the Megara city. We are going for the fourth boss of this route. We run all the way up here. There is a hero. One more hero. Nice. We get more XP from those heroes. There is a chest. It is a small chest but you never know what you can find. There is a battle marker. Good. In this place there are very often uh, uh, shrines, I would say battle markers, but uh, it is shrines, not battle markers. The, in this place we could find um, a chest or a hero, but this time there was nothing here. And this is uh, the fourth boss. The Polyphemus Cyclops. Now, this guy always, at least on legendary difficulty, he drops always his club. Cyclo Cyclops club. Unless he holds a legendary item or an epic item. So, if he holds such an item, he drops that item. You have no more room. I have no more room. Okay. Let me put this down. Pick this up. Yeah. Uh, no. Where it is? His club is pointless. Now, in this cave, we can find one or up to three chests. One uh, gets here. It spawns here sometimes. We found nothing this time. So, let's summarize. In the first act, we kill those four bosses. First, in Parnassus, we kill, we kill the three Gorgons. Then we go to Helos and we kill the first boss of the game. Then to Sparta we kill the Sedar. And then to Megara and we kill the Polyphemus Cyclops. Our next stop is in the Egypt and in the town of Memphis. Now, this next boss is one of the new bosses of the Anniversary Edition. But this boss has the longest uh, road to go and, find, uh, and fight this boss. But it is worth it because this boss has a majestic chest which is uh, maybe the best chest of the game right now. It is a new chest and it is bigger than 
the majestic chests of uh, other bosses. It's the biggest chest of the game. Also, in this route we can find uh, many piles and chests and coffers. If we want, we can kill all these guys. It is this route here. Also, in this place we can find sometimes coffers. There is a royal coffer there. Of course, by killing these guys, we get XP, more gold. We have chances to get more items. Also, there is a coffer. Just remember, all those coffers and lootable objects are random. This uh, simple coffer could be a royal coffer. Or this royal coffer could be a large coffer or whatever. There spawns a coffer also sometimes. This is a very good area to farm, especially for gold. Now, there is a bone pile. We go all this way up. More bone piles. In this place also sometimes spawns uh, coffers and such things. Also in here. Let's open this coffer. And uh, get the gold from the ground. Now here is the boss we need. First we kill those birds. We open the bone pile. And this is the majestic chest uh, we are talking about. But I'm going to die now and this is not a good thing to happen. Remember this is a glass cannon build. It deals awesome damage but it receives awesome damage too. This is the boss, one of the new bosses of the Anniversary Edition. There you have it. Uh, three relics uh, all together. This is the only chest I have uh, found three relics at the same time from this chest on the game. This was uh, the... what we said? Wait a minute, I lost my track now. Anyway, we killed one, two, three, four bosses. Yes, now we go to the Fayum. Oh no, this is uh, the fifth boss. Well, Polyphemus is not a boss exactly, this is why I do not count it as a boss. So, I prefer to say this is the B7 route, because we kill 7 bosses and Polyphemus, which is not a boss. In reality, it's just a super monster there. It is not attached to some quest or anything like that. So, we can say that uh, this route is, uh, has uh, 7 bosses and one nice son of a god to kill. He was the son of Poseidon, man, after all. That goes to the fifth boss here, in this place. This is from the quest we get from the Fayum town, city, oasis. Now we go to another boss. This boss can be tricky sometimes because it spawns on level 68 to 72. And sometimes this boss holds uh, very nice uh, powerful green weapons and uh, they deal too much damage so he might kill me. He's on level 70 now. You saw there how fast my energy go did got down. Uh, you can't hold it. Okay, it's uh, just a yellow. There are many chests, always. 
those are random nothing here okay this uh, farming run was very bad luck this was the sixth boss now we are going to go to the last boss of this b7 route which is in the orient act of the game we go to the eastern silk road uh, waypoint We drink some water. Sky smiles on the traveler. Ah, farewell. Okay, potions are enough for now. Now we run backwards. First, we have to kill these guys because they are going to hunt us down if we do not kill them. Sometimes in this place and in this place there are a bone pile spawning, so we can get gold, money, potions, and maybe some good items. There is also a pile, what is that thing over there, I don't know. In this place sometimes spawns a shrine, which is very useful. Here, exactly in this place. Now, now we move here, we kill those tigers, we open the chest, nothing here, very bad luck today. bone pile and now we go here this is the boss the big yeti boss the gargantuan yeti 73 level boss but and in this place always we can find those three chests at this majestic chest those are standard gold 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 nothing Nothing. So, this is the route of B7 uh, farming uh, bosses. F bosses route B7. Let's summarize this. Uh, all this info. Well, now, the route B7 starts in Parnassus. We kill the three Gorgons. <coughs> Then we go to Helos, we kill the first boss of the game. Then to Sparta, we kill the Sedar Nisos. Then to Megara, we kill uh, the Polyphemus Cyclops, which is not a boss, but it is a sub-boss, let's call it this way. We have uh, four bosses and one sub uh, three bosses and one sub-boss in the first act. Then, in Egypt, we go to Memphis, we travel and kill the new boss of the Anniversary Edition. After that, this is uh, the fifth boss, of, uh, the fourth boss of the game. After that, we go to Fayum, we kill, we kill the, in the desert uh, those raiders, one boss. Then we go and we kill this Scorpion King, the sixth boss of the route. And then we go to the Orient, Eastern Silk Road, we go backwards inside the mountain, and we kill the Gargantuan Yeti. Now, some items I have found, one of the best items I have found from this uh, route, is uh, this one, Bow of Heracles. This is a legendary bow, this bow dropped from the Gorgons, and of course... Uh, we can find uh, such good items from all over the game. Thankfully, this game doesn't have specific locations to farm, so whichever area is uh, more uh, favorite to you, you can go there and farm uh, as long as you like, as much as you like, and maybe find uh, the best items in the game. Okay, guys, that's it. The B7 farming bosses route. This is one of the routes. In future videos I will show you some more routes with more bosses, different locations, different mixes of those locations. 
and uh, hopefully you can find something interested in these routes and you can have some good farming hours out of this game. Thanks for watching, hit the like button if you like this video, share this video, subscribe if you haven't uh, yet because more videos are coming, many more videos are coming. And I'll see you on the next video. Have fun!